Black people, we have gone crazy. We even that crazy at funerals now. Now, black people will try to talk about their problems at the family get together. But if that don't work, black people will fight out their problems at the next family funeral. A black funeral is the deadline for real. You go to a black funeral now, you don't know if it's going to be a cry out, well, mama, I can't believe you a cookout, you're gonna miss her. This chicken joy is good. or a shootout. It ain't worth it, Malik. Put the gun down. With a lot of black families, you don't even know it's a problem until somebody drops dead. Case in point, my homeboy's 97-year-old mom, Miss Ruth, had 13 kids, and they would visit her every day. I thought to myself, these people love their mom, they love each other, and they get along so well together. But my homeboy, he was the special one. He was the baby. And he lived with his 97-year-old mom, Miss Ruth, and he took care of her. One Sunday, we were all sitting on the front porch. Miss Ruth and all the kids were there. Miss Ruth just fell out and died. The woman hadn't even hit the floor good yet. These people had put guns on each other, looted the house, and started eviction paperwork on my homeboy. They had did all that before the poor lady's body was even 98.5. I said, oh God, please. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. Miss Ruth may not even be dead yet. They looted the house so bad, they were taking stuff that didn't even make no sense. One sister, all she could grab was half of a sweet potato pie. She just running out to her car with that pie. One of the brothers just grabbed a stack of papers and just started running. Papers turned out to be all the obituaries of the mom's dead friends. After seeing all that stuff, I knew I wasn't going to the funeral. You go to a black funeral now, people actually fight. All right, come to me. All right, come to me. Get back up off me. And this is at the funeral. I remember the good old days when the funeral used to mean ain't no fight left. 